Hi all, welcome to my channel on statistical analysis and in this tutorial we are going to look at uh, rank correlation. That is uh, another kind of correlation. Now let me uh, explain why we use the rank correlation first of all. Now we talked about the Pearson's coefficient of correlation that is R. We use the Pearson's coefficient of correlation when we have quantitative data. That means we have numerical values that we can use in order to find out the relationship or the correlation between two variables. Now for example rain and harvest. We know the numerical quantity of the rain or and we know we know the numerical quantity of harvest. So we can find out the relationship. Or else age and weight. Now age we know as a numerical value and weight we know as a numerical value. So whenever you have these numerical values we can use the Pearson's coefficient of correlation. But there are some uh, incidences where you do not have the have a numerical value but you have qualitative data. Now for example let's say there is a singing competition and then if I want to uh, give a rank if I, if I want to get an idea about the people who are singing and how to uh, get, get, get them a grading or something so then I can do a ranking singing or else you can let's say beauty contest in pageant you will have to give a, ra give a rank to a people or maybe let's say we have this country rankings in like GDP and GDP per capita likewise whenever we don't have a numerical value but we have a qualitative data in that case we have to use the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient so now we will look at how we are going to make use of them in uh, calculations and how to get answers now First of all, I'll tell you how to get this uh, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Uh, let's say there are uh, there's a competition, singing con competition, and then there are five contestants. Now, based on their singing ability, a judge will judge them accordingly. So, the first person who's singing the best, I can uh, rank that person to be number one, and then the number two, number three, number four, and number five. Wise. Uh, in this way, you can rank the contestants in that competition. Now we will see the equation that we are using to find out the rank correlation and this is the equation that is R that is capital R equals 1 minus 6 uh, sigma d squared n n squared minus 1. This d is the difference between ranks of a certain pair. So now uh, we will look at an example and then we will understand it properly. So let's say there is this singing contest where there are 10 contestants and there is a judge 1 who ranks them in this manner and there is this judge 2 who ranks them in this manner. Now actually what we are doing here is we are finding out how alike the judge 1 and judge 2 are thinking. In this way if there is a positive correlation then we can say that the two judges are thinking alike. If there is a negative correlation then we can say the two judges are thinking in, uh, in different ways. And if there is a correlation which is closer to 0 then you can assume that they are independent of each other when they are judging. So here we have this difference column that means the difference between ranks of each and every contestant and then we get the d squared. So the sigma or the total of d squared values will be 52 and then we substitute those values into the equation and 6 times then 6 into 52 and you have 10 10 squared minus 1 and you do the simplification and you will get the final answer to be plus 0 0.684. So that means these two judges are thinking somewhat alike that means it's a uh, pretty much close to being a very strong correlation that is plus close to about plus 0.7 so you can say that these two judges are thinking alike so you can uh, presume them to give similar results when they were they would be doing some other competition as well let's look at the second example in that we are going to take uh, two countries not two countries a set of set of countries and we are going to compare the ranking of two different parameters the first thing is the happiness ranking that is how happy the people in that country is and then we have the per capita gdp ranking so if you look at this norway is having the highest ranking in the uh, happiness and they are having the second uh, the second ranking in the per capita GDP. If you look at Switzerland, it's the other way around. They are the second in the happiness and per capita they are the number one. So what we are going to do here is we are going to check whether the happiness ranking is correlated to per capita GDP. So that means if if in these countries that are given here, if the happiness is positively correlated to per capita GDP then we can say that the happiness is depending on the per capita GDP or the amount of money they are having uh, to spend. So in order to find this correlation uh, what we are going to do is again we get the difference and then we get the difference squared. 
so that will be 116 and then once you substitute values to the equation and you can do the simplification and then you will arrive at this value that is plus 0 0.297 that is actually a weak correlation so that means even though these countries are having different happiness rankings as well as per capita GDP values, there is not a strong correlation that you would expect. That means if we expect the, car, expect the country with the highest per capita GDP to be the happiest, it's not the case here because there is a weak positive correlation. Still, you can say that there is some kind of a relationship between the amount of money you are having as well as your happiness. But still, happiness does not depend on the money alone according to this result that we took with this uh, richest countries of the world so again you can see that this rank correlation can be used to identify different kind of relationships and correlations between uh, different set of parameters which we cannot measure numerically but we can use the ranking system